Hey, this is Adam Manuel, and I'm here today to talk to you about something I'd like to do as a New Year's resolution. As, so as you know, you may know if you've watched my videos in the past on this channel, I liked doing impressions and making fun of people and doing silly little videos. And that was fun, but it didn't really get anywhere, and I stopped doing it. But um, now I've decided to... Uh, revive this channel in some way and try to use it for educational purposes because that's my field is education so I thought that it would be helpful for myself and others. Um, in the past I have um, I see in high school I had four years of experience in Spanish in high school and two years of experience in uh, Spanish in college. So my goal is to make this channel a language learning channel. So I'm going to start out by um, as a New Year's resolution I wanted to get as close to pos close as possible to fluent in Spanish. And um, since I've had the most ex exposure and experience learning this specific language I'm going to st start out my year with that. Um, the in this this summer I plan to go to uh, Portugal so at some point in this year I'm gonna also start trying to learn some Portuguese so I can really enjoy the experience of being in Portugal so I can maybe try to talk with the people of Portugal but for the first half of the year probably it's gonna be focusing on Spanish because I've already had about six or seven years of experience learning it I didn't really get anywhere, but in the past few weeks, um, I've actually made pretty good progress, I believe, in learning the language. Um, and I hope if this video series takes off, uh, to record my everyday progress of learning a language. And I'm going to do that starting off by every day. Um, after I speak a little bit about news and how things are going in the language learning process in English, talk a little in Spanish and hope eventually to be able to speak, say, talk, the, I plan to uh, speak Spanish in the entire video. But that is a long way off, I believe. But um, I'm going to stay optimistic and we're going to slowly progress through it. So, um, I have been using a uh, program called Link Online, and uh, I tried it in the past, and I was trying to learn way too many languages at once, so it really didn't work, and I stopped. But um, I have been watching some of Steve Coffin's videos online, and they're quite inspirational and quite uh, motivating. So I've decided to go at it again, and let's and see if I can achieve my goal. You see, I've always been interested in other languages. Um, Spanish, mostly because my last name is Manuel, and that is a pretty uh, Spanish last name. I mean, it's probably got other ethnic, 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 ethnic um, origins, but uh, my father and I've always spoke about how it's got some kind of Spanish background. I've even done a DNA test, and I, it says a very small percent of my percentage of my DNA is Spanish, but it's overall my DNA is very European. Um, so some of the languages I plan to learn, obviously Spanish. I'm going to Portugal in July. I'd like to learn some of that, so when I go there, I can speak with them. After that, I'm planning maybe Italian, um, uh, French, uh, and since my master's degree is in ancient classical history, I plan to learn some uh, Greek and Latin, um, and let's see, what else? I've always been interested in the German language, it just sounds interesting to me, so that's another one I plan to try to learn in the very in the future. Um, and then two others that are just totally, they're definitely in the future. They're not really now kind of things, but 
once I get some experience learning languages, I'm going to try to learn Russian and Arabic. Russian because currently I'm employed at Radford University under with I'm an assistant to a professor who teaches Russian history, and I just think it'd be easier to do things for her and help her out if I could maybe read some of the um, books to her in Russian because she is blind, and uh, it'd be a good thing to try to do to be able to read to those books to her in Russian so she doesn't have to rely on computers and stuff like that. And also Eric, Ara, Arabic because it's obviously always in the news anymore and I feel it maybe helped me get a better grasp of their culture and maybe help other people understand that they're not um, terrible people not all of them are bad people they're just like any other person and they need to be um, not to be feared just because they uh, people that speak Arabic are in like in America I know people who say uh, I would never let allow a person into my house who speaks Arabic because them those people are terrorists which obviously not every person that speaks Arabic is a terrorist and I think that'd just be a helpful thing to do to help people so now I'm gonna do the first of many hopefully um, monologues of me speaking Spanish. Now, obviously, I know it's not going to be perfect, but um, that's where the comments come in. Hopefully, you can nicely um, give me pointers on how to improve it, what I'm saying wrong, or something like that. And hopefully, we together can see an improvement on how I'm speaking. So, here we go. Hola, buenos días, me llamo Adán. Y hoy me gusta ría hablar sobre mí. Uh, tengo 28 años y vivo en los Estados Unidos, uh, en Virginia, en un pequeño uh, ciudad uh, se llama Whitfield. Y es muy royal. No, um, con mo mucho vacas y uh, cosas. Um, trabajo a un universidad. Estoy un asistan asistante a una profesora ciego y Ayudo con um, leído los libros y emprendedor uh, papeles um, y mucho otro cosas y es muy divertido porque Un día me gustaría trabajar a Radford Universidad porque estoy, no, quiero estar un profesor de historia de antigua a Radford Universidad. Y Y este una razón que estoy aprendiendo mucho idiomas porque por historia de antigua necesito saber um, griego y latín y muchos otros idiomas y pienso que es que lo ayudar a um, saber muchos idiomas. Um, uh, 
Uh, tengo la el most el, tengo más experiencia con aprendiendo español porque uh, tengo seis no cuatro años en escuela en escuela secundario y en la universidad tengo um, dos años y en la universidad um, la profesora habla español toda la clase y es muy importante a lo siento que ten, tengo tener um, exposure a la lengua y oír mucho es mejorar um, mejor Rar, que leído en un libro. Um, sí. <laughs> so as you can see, it, it, it needs improvement. And But I feel that it, it's almost there. Um, now, one of my difficulties I do have is um, I've been listening to a lot of things on uh, Spotify and other Places and I've listen, been listening to some podcasts and stuff in Spanish, and it's helping. And I'm slowly being able to understand what they're saying, but it is um, still a chore in some ways. I'd like to be able to just leisurely be able to do whatever I want to and still understand ninety percent. My, I would probably be happy to be able to understand ninety to hundred percent of what it, um. I'm learning right now. It's probably about fifty percent. There's some words that I don't really understand. I don't know yet. But and then there's some that um, the way the native speakers say it, I, I'm not. They're saying it so fast, or they're saying it um, without enunciating. That's one thing I've learned. Is that us Americans? I mean, I don't know. Um, they say it very fast and not every syllable is being enunciated and that's one thing that I have to get used to and I feel that eventually I'll be able to um, get everything but for right now it's a little uh, difficult but I, I, I enjoy it and I've been using Link to read various things and I hope to um, eventually be able to read something without the aid of Link. Um, like I plan, you see, one thing I like to do is um, be able to read the Bible in all, all the languages that I'm learning. So, right now, I have the Santa Biblia in Espanol, and I hope to one day be able to read that. Um, I've been working through Link, and I'm at a word count of about at the intermediate level, but I'm going through the guided courses, and they're um, at the, I'm at the advanced level, so I'm about there. Once I get through all the guided courses, I think I'm going to start on my own reading various things. I'm also a big fan of Stephen King, so I'll probably look for some good Stephen King books in Spanish and read a couple of those. And um, that's my goal for this year. Um, if this video works out, I might make another one and uh, go over what I'm doing on a daily basis or something like that. But until then, hasta luego.